Hello and welcome back to Alex Go Sailing. So this is going to be my first solo sail on Merakai. The first challenge is getting this mast up. Well, this seems a little grey at the minute, but it's meant to be good. It's going to get hot on Monday. Uh, it's Saturday now. So luckily it's quiet, but I think low tide soon. So hopefully no boats turn up. Otherwise it's going to get very, very, very busy on that slipway. I'm going to record the challenge of getting this up, even with my new system. Because it's not completely single-handed ready yet, but I mean... How hard can it be? Right, first thing on the list of jobs to do is unstrap the boat from the car trailer and the boat trailer from the car trailer because then this allows me to drop the boat straight into the water. Unstrapping the mast is the next thing to do and uh, that's strapped down quite well because I don't want that falling off and jousting someone as I'm driving down the road. I also have the furling system strapped down with the mast. I have to be quite careful with this as I don't want to break it. So then once I'm done with the straps, I just throw them off the side of the boat. Sliding the mast back solo is quite a difficult job as you have to slide these cross arms back and then run back up the front and lift the mast to make sure you don't scratch your deck. Do this quite a few times until it reaches the spreaders and then it's about the right length and you can put the pin in the mast base and then that's the mast ready to go. The next task on hand is setting up the mast for raising. This is done using the system I made a few episodes ago and this is the first time I've set it up solo and raised the mast solo. So all you've got to do is attach the main halyard and then get the main sheet pulley system and attach that to the front of the boat and then back up to this A-frame and then you're good to go. Now raising the mast is where it all can go wrong. All I've got to do is pull the main sheet and steady the mast from side to side. I was thinking of adding two poles extra on the side of where the spinner pole mounts just to stabilise it a bit further so I can do it single handed and make it easier to move the furling system forward but that's for another time. The next job which is quite a big one is tuning the mast. The first thing I do is secure it so it won't fall backwards by doing the baby stay up. Then I can run around and do everything up so it's somewhat taut and then I can lock up the mast and get everything straight and then tighten it all down. Really, I should be using a gauge and I need to get one so I can actually tell how taut some of these wires are and make sure they're balanced somewhat. But so far, doing it by eye and feel hasn't gone wrong yet. So hopefully it lasts a little bit longer till I can find myself a good gauge to use. Next on the list is setting up all the rigging and sails. First off I hook up the mast connectors and then run around and do the furling lines and the sheet lines and get the main sheet hooked up. Then I jump in, get my mast, I'll get my boom out. Then I jump in and get my boom out, hook that up to the mast and raise it up with the topping lift and then I get my jib out and hook that on. I tend to leave the main sheet wrapped up round the boom as I do have a round the boom furling and rolling up the sail is much better than flaking a sail. So it keeps it much nicer and it's really easy to take off and put back on. As for the head sail, I always take that off because I don't want any seagulls leaving a horrible mess all over my nice new sails. And also I might damage it when I'm strapping down the mast and furling system. Now that means I've always got to flake the head sail, but that's better than having a seagull making a mess all over them. The next thing I do, just out of habit, is turning on the electronics. This is just to make sure they're good to go before I actually put the boat in the water. The last thing to do is set up the lines and fenders and put them on the right side to where our slipway is set up and the dock on this slipway is actually on the starboard side, so that's where I'm setting them up.
Organising afterwards is definitely optional, but I definitely recommend it if you don't want to have a faff when you're on the water. Right, we've got the mast set up and everything. As you can see, a little bit of a faff. Much easier with two people, but still got it done quite easily. And uh, now I've just got to plonk the outboard on, and then it's time to go in the drink. Probably clean up some of this mess first, but yeah pretty quiet still so that's good so uh let's hit the water for the first time solo we have her all ready ready to go so now it's time to back down always use your mirrors kids let's get into low range here we go low range let's see how close we can cut it go back Very close. Right. Now, put the handbrake on. See if she holds. Right, she's holding. Now we've got to run around and put the brake on the trailer. Get the trailer in. Get that brake on. Right, brake's on. French cable. Which we conveniently got plugged up to the back of the roof. You need to get new ones of these because they're very rough. Alright, this is a slimy bit. Let's fold this ladder up. Make sure the straps don't get caught underneath the wheel. Power on the button. Super easy with my steering wheel control. Right, so off the ramps. Now we've got to leave this somewhere, see? And then we've got to stick up these blue straps. Oh, it's cold. Oh, it's cold. Oh, it's really cold. Oh. Front strap left. I'll back it in on the touch bar so we're not really up. Front strap. Right, this is the benefit of the winch. Control line. This one. Right. And last time we took the boat out, we set it a little bit too far back on this trailer. So I think I'm going to have to line it up with that screw hole there for when I come back in. So I might mark that on the wood or something. That wood needs a good old varnish because it looks horrendous. Right. Our ass is in the water. Let's get set back there. Running me for shallow water. Come on, Fender, do your job. Whoa. Wow, I forgot to that one. Oh, and then it's back in a bit tighter. So, not proper, I know. Whoa, almost lost the controller. Right, so shut you up. I think I'm going to sink. It's fairly easy, really. Hard bit to send it up. And then when you come back in, the hardest bit is getting it on the trailer. The easiest bit is taking the mast down. So, right, 
better steer this in the right direction. I also need to re-grease these bearings, I think. Or at least check them. Just to make sure. Don't want any seawater going in there. But it's turned a little bit milky. And look at that UJ system working. Perfect. Much faster coming up when it's unloaded. She's doing all right there. Nice. Go time, Brutus. Get the flip flops off. Dangerous driving with them. And easy because we're in low range. Right, that's it for this episode. You're going to have to wait till next time to see me out sailing, but it's going to be epic. And if you have any suggestions on what I can do better for my boat setup, please let me know in the comments down below. Also head over to Instagram as I love chatting to you all over there. But for now, I'll see you guys next time.